With courage does the hero march. Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody slaughter, nor cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead, your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate. And rise, great worm, heart of the gate. Hells, the great worm is nothing but bone and memories. that spill from your mouth are not yours, but the worms. I am Ansor, heart of the gate, butchered in flesh, risen in spirit. Ansel wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river. Your body is unmoving, yet thought flows effortlessly between you. The spirit pauses, and you feel the astral prism stir. Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack, my words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, then in you. Calm, curious, and detached. presence has stirred me, as it ever did. I am awakened. Answer. It's been too long. We knew each other once, long ago. We crossed the Kalim together, 
and sailed the Al Tengri. We built a city by the sea. Ansa was my friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Until you killed me. Have you come to dance on my bones, Alderan? Was slaying me not satisfaction enough? Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Balderan fallen? Consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear answer. Enough! I gave you everything, Bolderan, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Bolderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time, you will not escape it. See their chances. Thank you. 
My turn. for this. is my happy place. is ever easy. Over there. Take 
Hit you first. Seems you are more interested in my past. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to found Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while, to watch my city grow, but it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea called to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Put simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. One nether stone remains. We must find it before the brain breaks free.
Ansur is dead. There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies, no dragon redeemer to save us. What hope then for Baldur's Gate? Without the Great Worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? You braved the worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination which Ansur became. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the gate. You're right. We are the warriors who'll slay the Absolute. We are the Guardians who'll defend this fair city. Yes, the brain will fall, and the people will hail us as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the city's truest defender. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home, and I am its servant. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravenguard, son of Ulda, proud Duke of Baldur's Gate. Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air. With him at your side, the road ahead doesn't look so insurmountable. Ah, oh, there you are. I was thinking, I'm not a Grand Duke just yet, but I'm still of a mind to celebrate. A hearty meal would do the trick. A few hunks of fresh venison, a round of brown ale. What do you say? Wonderful. You hunt the deer, I'll scrounge up the ale. Prepare your belly for a roast a la Raven Guard. <laughs> Let's hope Gale doesn't take offense if I assume cooking duties just the once. If I'm to be a Grand Duke, I've got to greet the people and gain their trust. First, we mourn. We bow our heads for the fallen and honor them by pledging peace. Next, we heal the city. Uh, we restore our broken buildings stone by stone. We restore faith in each other, one good turn at a time. Then we open the gates to the refugees, restore diplomatic ties. Baldur's Gate will again be the jewel of the coast. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. I failed, Father. The worm is fallen. A terrible fate for Ansur, my son. Yet my hopes for the city's future have never been higher. I don't understand. You and your allies slayed the undead terror that was once the Great Ansur. You are stronger than even the Great Worm. You will be the one to part the storms and lead the people through. You, not answer, are the savior we need. First, you will fell the Absolute. Then we will rebuild Baldur's Gate. We will take back our city together. I will name you Baldur's Gate's newest Grand Duke of the Council. You will be hailed Heart of the Gate. Grand Duke. <laughs> I look the part of a fiend. I will tell the citizens and the patriarchs of your good works. They will know you carry your father's banner. Uncertainty fills the air. Will has reached a fork in his path. In which direction will he travel? Will? 
courage, insight, strategy, justice. These were the lessons my father taught me. Baldur's Gate is my home, and I am its servant. I will be relentless in my pursuit of the greatest good. I will sooner die by Mazora's hand than let her endanger the city. I'll figure out a way. The Blade of Frontiers is no more. I will be Will Ravenguard, son of Ulda, proud Duke of Baldur's Gate. My son. Together there is no army we cannot conquer, and no wrong we cannot right. Hail, Duke Will Ravenguard. Duke Will Ravenguard! Will's courage and enthusiasm warms the air. With him at your side, the road ahead doesn't look so insurmountable.